Hello everyone, this is Ganaparthi Meghana, studying 8th semester in ECE department from SVCE College, Bangalore. Today I am going to discuss about the topic uh, crime prevention response and uh, analysis with emphasis on women safety using technology and societal participation. And uh, coming to the contents, uh, firstly introduction literature review. Uh, methodology, results and discussion, conclusion and references. Uh, this is the introduction part. The 21st century women have to a certain extent succeeded in contributing the society and working shoulder to shoulder with men in several fields. However, violence against women is being increasingly reported in recent times across the world. Today, the crime napping and uh, crime response remain majorly a responsibility of law enforcement agencies. Some wearable devices and mobile applications are developed over the years uh, toward, towards uh, ensuring women's safety. However, most of these applications and wearables either raise an alarm in the form of visual or audio or send messages to the contacts. And uh, the objectives are uh, to identify the most uh, prevalent crimes against women in the community or area, to evaluate, evaluate existing technologies that can be used to prevent, respond to, and analyze crimes against women, to identify gaps in the current systems and technologies, and uh, purpose solutions to address them, to develop a comprehensive plan for the implementation of the proposed solution, to increase awareness and understanding of gender-based violence and its impacts on women's lives, as well as the importance of reporting and addressing such crimes. And here is the literature survey, which I have uh, did survey on papers. And these are the paper details. And these are the pros and consequences. Uh, Prakashan, Uday Kumari, Kumaration and Gauri Shankar are 2021 uh, GSM based design and implementation of women safety devices using the internet of things and these are the pros the use of GSM based women safety devices with IoT technology can enhance women safety by providing real time monitoring and reporting of emergencies to designated contacts or authorities and consequences are uh, GSM technology is limited to areas with cellular network coverage, which may limit the use of GSM-based women's safety devices in remote to rural areas with poor network coverage. And coming to the second paper, details are uh, CM Carter, Meet the Millennial, who created Athena, a safety wearable for the 21st century uh, in the year of 2020. And a safety wearable can, uh, can enhance personal safety by providing real-time monitoring and alerts for potential danger or emergencies. Uh, wearable devices may be prone to false alarms or unnecessary emergency responses, which can be costly and time-consuming. And the third paper is uh, WL Glower KS Curland and ZM Dodson GIS Tutorial for Crime Analysis, Redlands. CA USA uh, in the year of 2018. Mm, coming to pros, uh, uh, GIS technology allows for comprehensive data analysis and visualization of crime partners. Crime partners, uh, mm, which can help identify crime hotspots and trends. And consequences are uh, the implementation of GIS technology for crime analysis requires technical expertise which may be a challenge for some law enforcement agencies or organizations to acquire and this is the fourth paper uh, which an i analyzed senti dutta a singh uh, singhes and kumar vn protect implementation of an iot based three-way women safety device in 2019 and pros are safeguard women in the event they might face any danger 
the device uses wireless sensors network um, to communicate and to send alerts to them and consequences are uh, technical complexity and high cost and the fifth paper is Kab kabir yeti and tasneem uh, t safety to solutions for uh, women using smart band and cws app and pros are key features is that our system can work in both online and offline mode and consequences are these can be very uh, harmful to your health as the emf levels from bluetooth technology and wi-fi can cause health problems immediately or for years and uh, finally c catalyst e cesario d talia and a vinci a data driven approach for spatio temporal crime predictions in smart cities termina in the year of 2018 and the pros are the use of uh, smart city technology can be enable uh, real time monitoring of crime patterns and incidents allowing for quick and efficient response to emergencies the implementation of data driven approaches for spatio temporal crime predictions in smart cities requires technical expertise which may be a challenge for some law enforcement agencies or organizations to require and coming to the methodology part, uh, building safer cities for uh, women will be effective only with understanding of various socio-economic factors that leads to violence against women so that effective measures for social reforms can be designed and uh, crime analysis and mapping to identify hotspots of crime and hotspot shifting an effective use of technology through which a woman can raise alerts in case of danger, prompt emergency response, leveraging community participation, all of which are addressed in the purposed solution. Propose a holistic framework, leveraging societal participation and four major components as described below. And uh, there are four main uh, components. One is mobile application and prototype of the wearable device and GIS analysis for the identification of hotspots of crime and for, uh, website for integrated crime monitoring uh, response and analysis. Each city is unique and hence we, pro we propose that the safety of the women can be best addressed by leveraging societal participation rather than completely relying on law enforcement agencies. And the basic prototype of women's safety jacket is shown here, which is uh, mentioned here as a block diagram. The project is uh, powered by a 12 volts DC power supply. It consists of uh, mega ATA microcontroller, which, which is a 24 pin IC. The circuit consists of two switches which functions differently to give different output and activate the circuit. The circuits includes the GPS and GSM module, LCD, LED and buzzer. The GPS module is connected to the RX pin of the microcontroller through its TX pin and sends the location via the GSM mobile module. The GSM module, which is connected to the TX pin of the microcontroller through its RX pin. And the output devices includes the LCD, LED module and the buzzer. And the output devices uh, includes the LCD, LED module and the buzzer. The L LCD is used to show the longitude and latitude value, which is not the part of end product. The two LED modules and the buzzer are used to grab attention of nearby people and through the attacker off guard. When switch one is pressed, all these features, that is the location of the victim, the LED modules and the buzzer start working simultaneously. And when switch two is pressed, only the location of the victim is sent to the emergency contacts. And here are the results and the, uh, the this figure, uh, this figure is a prototype jacket and this is uh, showing latitude and longitude and uh, a model with GPS, GSM, SIM, LED module, buzzer controlled by 
uh, microcontroller acts at the prototype jacket and latitude and longitude being received as and is shown in LCD. And messages which we received on uh, mobile. Messages, uh, these messages can be received uh, when latitude and longitude method uh, can be used after used. And uh, location on Google Maps, we can find the location uh, when we'll type the, these things, latitude and longitude values in Google Maps uh, when received longitude and latitude values are entered. We can find their location very easily. And applications or uh, mobile apps can be developed to help women report crimes and uh, receive emergency assistance. GPS tracking devices can be used to locate and track the moment of uh, potential perpetrators, allowing law enforcement agencies to apprehend them quickly. Crime data can be analyzed to identify patterns and trends in crimes against women, which can help develop targeted crime prevention strategies. And here I would like to conclude with the part, uh, technology such as CCTV cameras, personal safety apps, and emergency response systems can enhance crime prevention and response efforts while societal participation through community policing and awareness programs can promote a culture of society and reduce crime. It is essential to recognize that technology alone cannot solve the problem of crime and violence against women. Social and cultural change along with addressing issues such as gender-based violence, inequality and poverty are also necessary to create a safer safer and more equitable society. Thank you.